Hey, welcome to Cow Free Kicks. On this channel, I review leather free sneakers only, and today is all about their Nike Flex Experience Run 11. Thanks for watching. If you've not seen one of my videos before, and if you have, you know that I always look into five different categories when I review a pair of sneakers. Then at the end of the video, I will give these Nike Flex Experience Run 11 Next Natures an overall rating out of five stars. If you do like what you see as you're going on and you want to show some support, you can do that by clicking the little thumbs up like icon below on your device and also take time to subscribe to the channel. Now, this is normally the part where I show you the shoes on feet, but I'm going to start with the end of the video first and talk about their price because I think it's really important to consider throughout the rest of this video when you're watching and when we're talking about them that these come in at £59.95. pence. So these are at the budget end of the Nike range. So just bear that in mind when we're talking about the shoe in the rest of the video and what we're going to get for that price point. Now then, let's check these out on feet. This is the first version of the Nike Flex Experience runs that I've had the pleasure of trying on. And this number 11 is also a Next Nature shoe, which means it's part of the Nike Move to Zero campaign, which is branded on the box that you receive. And that's where Nike are trying to become a zero carbon, zero waste company. So at least 20% of the materials used in the shoe are recycled. That's gonna start with this knit upper that you get all over the shoe, which is partially recycled from plastic bottles and yarn found on the factory floor. And then you've got this speckled TPU detailing that you find around the laces and at the bottom. There's also a small amount on the heel of the shoe as well. Now that is speckled because it possibly could be recycled TPU detailing as well. You've got some embroidered swoosh branding on both sides of the shoe on the inner and the outer foot, but really the upper is very simple and clean. You do get some nice embroidered eye stays which I think is a nice touch flat laces and then you've got this flex outsole now it's a full flex rubber outsole there's actually no further additional grip added it's just one whole midsole and outsole Nike flex unit now we're going to talk about that more in the comfort section now when I want to put it to the test on my back doorstep As well as having a nice clean look to them, these Nike Flexes also offer a lot of comfort. Now you get this Nike Flex midsole outsole combo, which means this cushion midsole is also the outsole for the shoe. So there's no additional grip added to these. There is some concerns about durability and hard wearing if it is just the midsole that's making contact with the ground. But what that does mean is that they can do this and add cutaways to the actual midsole itself, making these an incredibly flexible shoe. So this Nike Flex midsole outsole unit is incredibly flexible underfoot. It offers really nice cushioning as well. You can see from the step test that I put a lot of pressure on these and they had a nice amount of give and bounce back. They do ride a little bit on the firmer side, but for a budget shoe, they have a really nice amount of cushion to offer and a really nice flow with these cutaways on the outsole. Your foot really flows when you walk in these. Now on top of the shoe, fit wise, these are a true fit for me lengthwise and width wise. I've got slightly wider than average size feet, but there's enough area in the toe box for me. The cushioning that you get in the heel is nice because there's a lot of cushioning there and the upper is nice and soft, so it feels nice and soft on top of your feet. The only concern I have for these is they are a budget shoe. So if you're gonna buy these for stability purposes or for long distance running, they really don't have that much stability in them at all. They're a very floppy shoe, but we're gonna go on to their weight now where I'm gonna talk about that more. So it's very rare to find a pair of sneakers that weighs under 300 grams these days, but one that comes in at 259 grams, that is unheard of. Almost two of these 
equals one Nike Air Force One. So that's how lightweight these shoes are and you can really feel that when they're on your feet. Now going back to the comfort section, they are an incredibly floppy shoe because they've used very lightweight materials on the upper with this knit and in the midsole. So you're not gonna get great stability and durability from the shoe but weight wise, they do feel like you're almost wearing nothing on your feet. They do add to the ride because they're very lightweight as well. And I just think for an entry level shoe and a budget sneaker, you can't go wrong with that weight. Now I wanna move on to their breathability where I'm gonna pump that up a full of smoke to see how breathable it is. Nice result in the breathability test. There was a bit of a breeze while I was doing it today, but the smoke blew away, but you could still see it was billowing out very quickly. Now for a shoe that has no obvious perforations on the upper, they do offer really nice breathability. This knit definitely has a lot to offer in hot and humid conditions. Going along with their price, going along with their weight, going along with the fact that they offer more comfort than I would have thought, and they have a nice, clean, simple look can't really fault these in any way and give them any other score other than five stars because for $59.95 I don't really know what else you're looking for from kind of an entry level shoe into doing anything athletic or just wearing these as an everyday shoe for school, work, even the gym just as long as you're not going to wear them for anything that's going to require a lot of stability and a lot of security because they are not going to offer you that. Now, if you've liked what you've seen today, please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up right before you go. You can also follow me on Instagram, drop any comments, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.